obviously I was I was looking over your resume, man. You've been in there with some real killers, bro. And and I'm guessing that being on this show was a great sort of like um, almost like university for you. You know what I mean? To to get the first experience and then you're out fighting some of the, the very best of the era and some of the, the last era and of this era. Um, and I was wondering, you know, what, how do you feel like, who do you think is kind of the best at light heavyweight right now? Cause I've seen, you know, you fought Vojdik, you fought, uh, Joe Smith, you fought some guys, man. And you, and you've seen them firsthand, which not a lot of people can say. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because, um, uh, uh, uh Joe, uh, uh, Joe, I call him Joe Q. I always mess up his name, a uh, uh, Filipino guy, uh, out of, uh, New York. Everybody knows who he is. Um, so, um, uh, he used to be a matchmaker for Debella in, in, in a lot of uh, the New York uh, fights and everything that I have, uh, or even that fighters that I would work with, he, he'd uh, organize them. So um, I'm, uh, I came out of, re- out of retirement uh, to, I think, uh, fight Marcus Brown or whatever, right? Because, you know, we got an argument on TV or whatever, something like that. So they wanted me to fight Marcus Brown. So I fought Marcus Brown. I fought like all the, then I'm like, okay. So uh, Al Hammond and all these guys kept offering me like a lot of money to fight their guys that were coming up because not only were they at that level, like that, um, what is it? Uh, you know, for a title shot or, or crack the top 10 or whatever. Uh, but um, I was a, a good uh, battle test because of my name and recognition and everything. So um uh, uh, every time I would try to exit, they'd be like, hey, hey, can you fight this guy? Can you fight this guy? So finally, we get to Joe Smith, right? And and I fought all the other guys, and, and it was like, they're younger than me, they're faster than me, or, or, or whatever. But in my head, I'm like, dude, if I was three years younger, like, I would completely smoke this person, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but when I fought Joe Smith, I, I, I look over to, um, to uh, Joe Q, and I'm like, and he's like, what do you think? I'm like, that guy right there is going to be better than everybody. And he's like, him? <laughs> he's like, he's so, he's so bland. He's so, I was like, bro, like that dude is a freaking moose. Like when he was hitting me and stuff, it, it like literally hurt. Like, like when he's leaning on me, like it feels like I, I'm pushing on a wall. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, right. so, so Joe Smith is, is, is the goods, man. And, and not only that, he has such a, I, I know his uncles. It's funny because he actually is, it, it's almost like an old mafia movie, right? The guy that comes to kill you is the is the kid that you knew when when he when uh, back in the day when he was a kid, right? Yep. So Joe Smith actually fought on on my undercards, uh, I, like way like back in like I think he turned pro like maybe like 2011, 2010 or something, right? right? And um, and I was like, oh, he's he's in the in the dressing room warming up, and I'm talking to he has twin uncles, right? They're like wise guys. They're kind of like, you know, Jersey Shore type uh, yep. with the, hey, Polly, you know, like type. type yeah. So I'm laughing at him, like getting ready for my fight. You know? And so we got to a point where, like, where every time I was like, hell yeah, let those guys be in my dressing room because they're so funny. So I'm like, Joe Smith is, is with him the whole time. I'm not thinking right. anything like, I'm like, oh, this little white kid or whatever, he's going to be pretty good. He, he looks in shape. Then all of a sudden, that's the very guy that one of my last fights was against. Right. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just funny how boxing works. But Joe Smith, to answer your question, Joe Smith is is one of the guy. Uh, Beaver, uh, uh, Beef, uh from uh, Canada is another guy. When those two guys fight, you know, but definitely uh, the American hopeful Joe Smith. Um, Marcus Brown is a, is a good friend of mine now. Uh, he's 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 by far the most talented person, one of them in boxing. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but Joe Smith is that is that blue collar guy, man. Yeah. I, what's interesting to me about Smith is that I think even I've been proven wrong a couple of times where I think like he's going in to fight somebody and I'm like, ah, I think this guy's maybe a little too technical. He's going to, his feet are going to be too good, whatever, whatever. And then for whatever reason, he just got, he's got a thing that, that makes it work. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what it is. Maybe it's like what you said that he's got that, that brute strength and he's got this up here to where, you know, he knows just enough to kind of get close to you. And yeah. then he's physical enough where it's like, well, you're not going anywhere. But yeah. I've, I've multiple the Alvarez fight. I think even his last fight, I, you know, I was like, I don't know if he can take this guy. And he he's a guy who seems to find a way. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, and it's also a division. You got guys like better be 
you know, um, uh, Dimitri Bivol. There's some guys that are real technical. Do you think he could hang with guys like Better Bev and Bivol and, and like the very top? Uh, Bivol, uh, Bev is um, is is gonna be the test because uh, it's like the thing I, I the, what I always tell people, and I and this used to be even for my own career too. What's gonna happen when you fight another bully? On the street, what happens? The biggest bully wins, right? <laughs> right. I think Joe is a bigger bully than B, but it's going to be a hell of a clash. You know what I'm saying? If you look, and I and I and I like to compare uh, body types and style, but if you look, I forget the guy's name, but um, he fought B and he knocked B down. He was a a, a guy out of uh, Kansas, like a Golden Gloves winner out of Kansas. He's built just like Joe Smith. He's a big old like block, you know, white guy. All, all American white guy or whatever. And he and the first thing he does is like the first three rounds, he knocks B ground and B looks at him like and gets up and kills him. <laughs> you know, but uh I think that uh Joe Smith is is the is the best shot against uh, that guy because he's a bigger bully. Uh when it comes to to Bevel and all those guys, I think that that he's really a super middleweight, uh, wrapped in a, a light heavyweight body. I think Joe's too big and too um, uh, forceful for him. Like, you know, uh, the war of attrition, Joe would win that fight. The only fight that uh, that may be hard uh, for Joe would, I would say, if he gets uh, matched up with with, uh, with Marcus Brown, because I'm sure they've crossed each other's paths as far as sparring and stuff in New York. And uh, and Marcus is 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 is, is going to be a, a you know a dictionary of boxing and, and, and great talent. But those yeah. are what those. Are those kind of fights that make great matchups right there. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the brawler against the pure boxer. And, yeah. and those, 